My name is Harun Mehmedinovic and I'm a filmmaker. I grew up in Bosnia. That's kind of where I fell in love with nature. And when I came to the US and went to UCLA to study film, I would try to get away out of LA and Northern Arizona would be the spot. So I would try to always stop at places like Vermilion Cliffs here, Grand Canyon, somewhere in the Navajo Reservation. Those would be some of my favorite spots. Of all the places that I could live, why would I settle and live a certain amount of time in Arizona? And the reason is that it just energetically feels right. Anybody that has any sense of adventure should gravitate to such a place. Night photography especially is surprising, and it makes each shoot its own unique, fun experience. What's beautiful about astrophotography is that whether you want it to be or not, it's actually an activist kind of photography. And I say that because anybody that sees the night sky in its pristine form is gonna have the question, what is that? They're gonna know, like, how is, is that possible? Is that real? Yes, it's real, but why don't I see it? Well, you don't see it because of light pollution. When we say light pollution, we mean artificial light. It washes out all the night skies. I went into the whole night sky photography as a way to have fun. At some point, I think me and a shooting partner of mine, Gavin Heffern, and we started talking, how can we make this a bigger project than just having fun? We concluded that inevitably we gotta talk light pollution. We need to photograph some of the best places, some of the worst places left when it comes to night skies, try to educate people. We were kicking around different names, and this name, Skyglow, made a lot of sense. These beautiful cliffs are the Vermilion Cliffs, and it's a national monument. Inside of Vermilion Cliffs are several really special places. One of them is the Wave, the other one is White Pocket. And White Pocket is uh, basically sand dunes that were here millions of years ago. The oceans rose, and as they rose, they elitified it. So they turned what was once pure sand to um, these pockets of just sandstone rock. And it's unique, it's not really found anywhere else. It's a very dark area, very beautiful. It's also very quiet. You have to keep checking if you lost your hearing because it's so quiet, and I love that. In uh, Northern Arizona and in parts of Southern Arizona, we have some of the darkest skies that are left pretty much anywhere on the continent. Seeing these beautiful images of stars is a way to start a talk with a person and say, there's these beautiful places, that are still left, please go enjoy them, please protect them. And of course, there is a bit of a, a double-edged sword with that. Too many people in national parks can produce problems as well. But I still think overall, we need more in touch with nature.